peace and blessed friends it's me l parker just wanted to check in with you guys i am in the garden at b loves guest house i'm here for the wellness wednesday garden party i wanted to check in and share with you guys a bit intentional fasting right now and i am here today i came today with the intention of getting some of this awesome juice created by um, my friend, Miss Tracy Bartlow. I, we gotta wear our mask. Nobody's out here right now, so that's why I'm taking this second to talk to you without my mask. But if others come into the area um, for their safety and whatnot, I will mask up. Um, but I just wanted to do a quick little video and talk about um, intention and eating and consuming with intention. Oh, look, here she is. I'm putting my mask on. And um, so I'm gonna ask her about this juice and see if she'll share with us about this lovely juice that she has created for us. Yeah. Okay. Um, and just talking about consuming with intention. I'm intentional yes. fasting right now. Oh, That's yes. why I kind of switched it around. Yes. So this is intentional fasting. Yes. Yeah. I'll tell you the reasons of why I came over and then you can tell me about how you create and produce and you know, support it. Okay. So the reason, the intention for me being here right now is number one, of course you want to eat from the earth mm -hmm. as much as possible. You want to eat local. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You want to be tuned in to your local environment and connected with what's going on in your, in your local lands and whatnot. So mm -hmm. the fact that I know that you grow this year, um, I know you can have a wonderful, awesome spirit. We can look at this garden. Look at this garden. Look at this garden. And I just know that the energy here is, you know, it's powerful and it's full of love and yes. light. Yes. So that is a beautiful thing. I trust my farm her. Yes. I know my farm her. Yes. Yes. Produce this. Mm -hmm. And um, I've really been needing to get more green. Because mm. even in my fasting, I'll eat a lot of fruit. Mm -hmm. And I sometimes struggle to get the green. Mm -hmm. So this is my first time having this. Okay. So tell us a little bit about it. Tell me yes. what I can expect. I, I love that you are fasting intentionally. And. I am intentional in creating this space. Um, I find great value in um, connecting with the natural world and cultivating my own food and herbs and products and also how we um, commune with nature, you know? And just being in this space is highly oxygenated, you know, because we're surrounded by plants and trees. And so it's a very different vibration than being back here. And as an environmentalist, it's important to connect and commune with the natural world. Um, and it's also a sustainable practice in making our own food, in growing our own food, and um, not relying so much on what has been available in mass produce. Because their intention is to make money for themselves. And so they'll put all kinds of fillers and products and you know, create GMOs so that the products create a bigger harvest, but the quality is not as good. And it also um, has long-term effects that are not healthy for you. So, and it also, when it's mass-produced by these crazy food scientists and their GMOs, then it loses its flavor. You know, like sometimes I'll eat a, a, some fruit from a grocery store and it's like, this has no flavor. Very good. It has no flavor. But earlier today, I got a tomato off of that bush full of flavor, you know? And so wanting, have, having an intention to have better products and being sustainable, like I'm gonna put some plants in the ground, I'm gonna grow the food that I need. This hydroponic situation, mm. growing food, indoors, inside of buildings, mm -hmm. out of a chemical cocktail and light bulb. Mm -hmm. It looks like food, but where is the essence? Factory farms? Mm -hmm. I'm not with it. Um, because it does lose its essence and its vibration when it's mass produced by machines. You know, when you have small farms, small batches, it's like it has more of a human touch. And then also having the full spectrum yeah, of the sun. Yeah, you can grow with all kinds of powerful <laughs> light bulbs and nutrients and chemicals, 
but having that full spectrum of the sun's rays and all those colors within the sun and then it all goes into <laughs> like, that juice that's what i'm here for yes um, and so the the juice um i use the fan leaves the big fan leaves from the cannabis plant and they uh, they call them water leaves so when the plant starts to flower and make the buds then it's like you actually cut those out of the way so that the buds can get more sun but those leaves I don't compost them. I'm like, I'm going to use, as you said earlier, every part of the plant. And when you press those rich. leaves through the juicer, um, my main ingredients are like apples and ginger, and then I put some other fruits in there. It makes this really delightful flavor. And I love the flavor of the plant, of the cannabis plant. And so that um, herb kind of taste you know, that um, the kind of this leaves have paired with like apples. It is so delicious. I find out. This, this is my first time having the kind of plant leaf. So. Okay, can I do a video? I know your video. Yeah, I'm going to do a video. Yeah. I'm very, very excited. Yes. But that's so important. Um, I was watching another live by an elder. Um, he has his company is called Sunfire Food because he's been juicing for like 60 going on up to 72 days. Oh, you know, wow. and most people will be like, how could you could sustain yourself off of just juice? You know, they don't mm -hmm. get it. And he's like, what we are supposed to do as the beings that we are, our, our eating and our consumption is to consume the sun. Mm -hmm. So that's what mm -hmm. we're doing when we eat. We're consuming the sun. Yeah. And that's why his company is called Sunfire Food. We talk about cooking food. The sun cooks our food. Yeah. That's all the cooking that our food needs. Yeah. It just comes straight from the sun. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. that, I mean, you, you kind of know, but just when you hear it like that, it really mm -hmm. puts it into perspective. Mm -hmm. So you think about health and disease and whatnot, you know, what are you even putting in your body? All this yeah. dead organic material, basically. Yeah. That's what it's about for me, y'all. Everybody's talking about cleaning up right now. Yes. Cleaning house. I'm starting with my biological, my internal house. I'm cleaning from the inside yeah. out. We're going to see what this green plant juice tastes like. Mm. Super good. <laughs> and I'm a juicy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm a sweetie and I'm a juicy. Now I was expecting it to be bitter. I was like, okay, I'm going to get my oh. bitter. I'm going to get my bitter for my girl, but I need my green. So let me go ahead. Oh, there's lots really of greens good. in there. And... You know, of course, the green color comes from the cannabis mm. leaves. It is um, a very high dosage of chlorophyll. Mm. Plus Natural iron, coral chlorophyll. Potassium, mm -hmm. fiber. Mm -hmm. um, it has all kind of good stuff. That ginger, I think that ginger coming through. Yes. It's, it's and coming off of your fast, um, you could even mix that with water. Exactly. That was very, it's, it's so good. It's well, very uh, <laughs> concentrated. <laughs> right. So I have some shot glasses, that's why I got three. I said, well, I'll do a shot a day and then just drink right. plenty of water. Yes. But this one's not going to make it. I'm going to tell you now. This one's not going to make it home. Uh, but I do have a couple more. To, and I'm yes. going to stick with my um, shot a day oh, uh, regimen, you know. Thank and, uh, you. And let that infuse these cells. Thank you. Infuse yeah. your cells. That's exactly what I'm, my intention. Because <laughs> with the um, cannabis leaves, it also has the CBD, mm. and the CBD has this um, uh, regenerative, cellular regenerative effect on the body. It's something, it's kind of hard to explain, but it, they say it has a two-way cellular regenerative effect on the body. Those are cannabinoids. The cannabinoids. Pair with, they have, it's kind of like almost they have, a, um, people talk about free radicals being a bad thing. I don't see them as a bad thing, but anyway, it's like they can just find what needs repair yeah and they fill right in yes and repair it yeah <laughs> so i'm like oh okay yes. well i need that so, yes yes that's mm -hmm. awesome thank you thank you thank you for opening the garden and sharing the space yes. you know with us it's really <laughs> we being safe <laughs> over here <laughs> So she does this every Wednesday? Yeah, every Wednesday. Every Wednesday the garden is open. So if you're local here in Oakland, um, mm -hmm. follow. She has her guest house. If you need a little staycation, respite yeah. spot, you know, we 
We love Guest House. Yeah. She's right here. Urban. And that's what's great. We're in a very urban city. Yeah. So this is like a little oasis right yes. in the middle of our urban city, you know. So we out here. We live in staying healthy, living green. Yeah. And uh, make sure you can follow Be Love's Guest House and come through. Yeah. And if you're local, come come to the garden. Be Love's Guest House. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank All right, you. everybody. I'm going to check in with somebody. They're about to leave. Okay. All right. For sure. Take your time, Thank dog. You. Like that. Um, I'm taking it slow, one step at a time, starting with my health. I'm about ready to um, start with some uh, physical activity. That's going to be my next mission. Uh, but for right now, we still fortifying cells and all that. Um, yeah, so every Wednesday, I think, from 4 to 7 in the garden at B-Love's Guest House, um, you can come and and enjoy the the lush greenery, the positive vibes, sunlight, soak you up some natural vitamin D. Do, do the best that we can. That's all we can do is do our best. And I'm very fortunate to be here in California, like I said, where we do have a lot of um, produce produced right here in our great state here. So um, I have a lot of access to, to fresh farm grown um, foods, vegetables, herbs, and things like that. Um, like one of my local herbalists said, uh, do your best to know the people in your community who are producing things. So there probably are people anywhere, any community that you're in that are growing things and, and producing things and, and being keeping that connection with nature strong and available. I think nature um, has a way of doing that and ensuring that every space has someone who is connected with nature available within that space for the people because it's important for us to sustain our lives, sustain our health, uh, sustain our immunity in these crazy times. Uh, as we are elevating ourselves and um, deciding, you know, one of my elders said, it's no more middle of the road. You can't be in the middle of the road anymore. You either hot or you cold. You know, you got to pick a side. Who you rocking with? Who you rolling with? And I decided I'm rocking with nature. So that's what side I'm on. And um, I connect with my folks as, as often as I can. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here pretty soon. I'm going to finish enjoying my juice and enjoying the positive vibes out here. But, all right, peace and love, everybody. Until next time, stay blessed. This is L. Parker saying.